doesn't matter, you know, really how you slice it, guys. If we're talking about soybean, the you know the big thing with soybean is the old adage that you know we've said for years that if you only got X amount of dollars to buy fertilizer, you probably need to be spending that money on potash if you're growing beans, and that hasn't changed because our research with phosphorus shows that the yield responses to phosphorus are are really rare, and when we do see them, they tend to be much smaller than what uh, type of responses we get from, from potash. Probably the most common recommendation that we have coming out of our uh, out of silt loam soils in Arkansas is going to be for about 60 units of phosphate and 120 units of potash. And that's over 100, about $110 per acre. Okay, <laughs> Based on the long-term study that we have going at Pine Tree Station, eliminating fertilization is really not a good answer if you've got decent yield potential. Um, just cutting back, okay, will go a long way. Now, you may not be producing your maximum yield, but you can certainly maintain some yields. I'm showing four uh, potassium rates, and these are applied to the same plots every year. Um, they range from zero, 40, 80, and 160 units of potash per acre per year. And the main thing I want to look at, you know, I want you to look at this 40 pounds of K2O, which is the square here. Um, it's not the lowest, it's not the highest, but if you look, some years, you know, like this particular year, um, I mean, here's your rate, 0, 40, 80, 160. So, I mean, it's uh, always substantially higher than the zero. Here's another year here where it's almost the same yield as 80. So my point is, don't just cut fertility out of your program, okay? You can cut back and it'll take you a long ways because when you start looking at uh, where we're at 12 years after we started this particular study, um, we are routinely seeing 20 bushel yield differences between the check and our highest yielding treatment, okay, from applying nothing to applying uh, fertilizer at a, at a relatively high rate every year. The other point I'd make here, you know, that high rate is almost always the top yielding treatment, but it doesn't mean it's always the most economic. Your Arkansas Soybean Podcast is a production of the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture and was funded in part by the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board. For more information on soybean farming in Arkansas, contact your local county extension office.